Shamir, it's probably not the prettiest goal that you've that you've scored, but how vital was that 95th minute equaliser, do you think? Yeah, I think obviously now when we look at it, we see the other results of the other teams on that. It's uh, obviously an important point. We have played poor, but we've got a draw away and we moved up, moved up a uh, place in the league, so it's not a bad day, but the performance won't go off. That's, I suppose that's the fine margins on which matches can always swing. That's the tight nature of the National League this season that, as you say, a poor performance, a late equaliser and suddenly the team's position has actually improved. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if we would have played well and um, been all over them but lost 1-0, I'm sure, do you know what I mean? Who would, everyone would rather take the, not to play so well and get the point and obviously move on from it in the next few games coming up. What what is it that made you call the performance poor? What was what wasn't there this afternoon? Just the way we usually play. It wasn't us, the passing and things like that. It just wasn't our sort of style of play. Anything you can put that down to? I mean, guys Lee Combe, they they always make it difficult for teams. So there's there's always two teams out on the pitch. But what what was missing for the shots this afternoon? Um, yeah, I'm not too sure. Which the, the passing obviously the the main thing because that's the, what we're best at. Obviously, it's hard on the pitch, but we've got to sort of be braver sometimes and decision making as well, when to pull it in behind them and clear your lines and when to sort of settle down and take an extra touch and find an extra pass. We were able to welcome a few players back this afternoon, Scott, Matt and, and the skipper as well, so that was good but there's still, the squad's not 100% fit at the moment, I'm sure you know, you've been playing in recent weeks when you're not 100% fit because of necessity really, does it, does it still feel like it's a little bit of a make do and men sort of situation yeah I think we've got the the players back it's just a case of getting them up to where they fully fit and get them firing again but um, it's good to even have them back available even if they're coming on for like, like Matty did at half time whether they're coming on or starting it's good to have them back available and credit to the lads for, for keeping going for that the 95 minutes it w would have been easy to to not win the game to not keep pushing as much as the team did and then that forced the equaliser. I suppose it, it was a game that would have been easy to lose. Yeah, the gaffer just said in there that he didn't see us getting, that would been, he didn't see us scoring because it wasn't, it was, I mean it wasn't like one of the games where we were having lots of shots and lots of chances, it wasn't really creating much so to get the goal and get the point, we would take that. He didn't have faith but clearly you did. Yeah, I just thought, just getting, I just saying to Jim in there, we were just talking, I said I don't think, I've, I've not really scored a good goal this year, I just scored all, they've all been sort of scrappy and in the box but yeah it's just getting in there and just getting in the box and just anticipating things. It seemed to me from over in the press box like you, there was a couple of defenders at the far post and suddenly you nipped in. What? Talk us through it. Yeah, the, the floodlight was in my eyes. I didn't really see the ball coming. I've just, just stuck my left foot out and hopefully the video can see it clearer. So, um, cause I, don't, I just saw the floodlight was in my eye but yeah I just saw the ball and just pull it in the net. I think it was Bernard's cross to the far post, Will heads it back across and is it just yeah. that gambling instinct that you yeah. think I've got to get I myself think, in there? I think Matty McClaw was with the defender so he sort of was like blocking them off which allowed me, if, if he wasn't there to block the defender obviously it wouldn't have been, might not have got the goal but yeah he sort of was blocking the defender, watching the ball and yeah I just, I sort of snuck off around the back, just got it in. It's a scrappy goal, you say the gaffer maybe didn't, didn't believe that it was going to come but now is that that confidence going into Boxing Day, just a point, any point needed to, to put the, the little bit of a bad run to bed almost? Yeah, I think on Boxing Day we want to get more care about like our style of play and get our identity back and play how we, we usually play. Like the, the pressing and the passing and the attacking, because it's not, like the gaffer just said, and we're even saying ourselves that like, it's a bit boring at the moment. Like, if you're one of the fans watching, it's not like I use yourself, it's a bit boring to watch and things like that. So we're looking to get that back on a Boxing Day. And that's clearly that's not the team's style of play. You want that that excitement back yeah. in your in the team. Yeah, exactly. So hopefully we just um, get ready and just get ready for Boxing Day. And hopefully we could do it then. Excellent. Well, Merry Christmas, Shamir. We'll Thank see you on Boxing Day. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you.